Koenig Seg has been in business for um, well over 20 years since 2002. In 2002, they released the CC8S, which was the first production car of Koenigsegg, which won the Guinness World Record for the world's most powerful production car. Some years later, Koenigsegg presented the CCR, the CCX, the CCXR, the Agera range of cars, and many more. Koenigsegg is celebrating its 20 years of being in operation by releasing the perfect modernization of the CC8S. I present to you the world's premier Koenigsegg CC850. So let's get into full analysis of this car. I am Charlie and you are watching the four wheelers. This gorgeous hypercar has a twin turbo 5 liter V8 engine that pumps out a raging 1385 horsepower and has 1385 Nm of torque. And guess what? This car also weighs 1385 kg, which gives it a 1 to 1 power to weight to ratio. And to transfer that power to the wheels, you get to decide whether you want to have it in automatic mode or engage a proper 6-speed manual transmission. This means that you have both automatic and manual transmission all in one car. It also has a clutch pedal which gives you that manual feel. There's actually no pricing info on this car yet, but Koenigsegg announces that only 50 will be built. And that's where the 50 on the name CC850 comes from. Let's take a closer look into its design. Over the past years, Koenigsegg has established a super strong brand identity. They have designed features and graphics in their cars that you don't get to see in any other car. Taking a look at the front. We notice these nice graphics as well as the big fenders which is typical to its older 2002 version. We also have these modernized headlights and tail lights. And trust me, if you want to study plantedness in a car, study the Koenigsegg CC850. Having a closer look at the tail lights, we notice a massive growth in Koenigsegg's mechanics. In the Agera, we had almost like an overall tail light, but the LEDs were dots. But on the CC850, it has been upgraded to proper looking LED tail lights, even though they still reminisce the three circular designs that we have on the CC8S. This hypercar uses Michelin Pilot Sport Cup 2R tires, which fit well inside the wheel well. We have a big diffuser in the lower part with a centrally mounted massive exhaust pipe. Koenigsegg has its own design language which I love so well, especially looking at it from the side view over here. We have this egg shaped design as well as a fighter jet look with the wrapped round windshield. One thing I love again about the past and present Koenigseggs is that they have the Swedish flag on top of the stick shift right here. Details like this remind you that this car comes from Sweden and the gear shifter which houses the manual and auto transmission looks elegantly finished and also paying a closer look at the dashboards we see it reminisces the 2002 Koenigsegg and they pay apt attention to details. This hypercar runs on biofuel E85 which makes it better for the engine and for our environment. Koenigsegg wishes you a happy 20 years anniversary. Let me know what you think about this environmentally friendly hypercar right in the comment section below. Don't forget to subscribe to receive amazing car reviews like this one. Thanks for watching.